Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming today uh, here for this meeting. Uh, we don't have so much time, so I would like to start immediately with the presentation. Uh, today, presentation is a smart home office for museum exhibition. So let's start with agenda. This is today agenda, so have a look quickly. This slide gonna skip. Uh, I will stop a little bit um, at the key stages of uh, development work to give you better understanding of my design. Uh, the first uh, photo we see modern home office industrial design from 2021. I would like to mention that uh, industrial design has always inspired me. And uh, so I use some of its uh, elements in this design, like, uh, for example, concrete for the walls, uh, reclaimed wood uh, for furniture and flooring and so on. Uh, the second photo is a smart glass skylight, which reduces energy use. Smart or switchable skylight is a technology that is capable of adjusting privacy or light transmission on demand. So it can be controlled by simple electrical switch, or remote or voice control. Also, uh, I would mention here the MOS wall, uh, which is a panel that is uh, covered uh, in a special treated MOS. Um, and this acoustic panel uh, inspired me for including a living green wall into my design. And I will talk about that a little bit uh, later on. Now, now let's go with the uh, next slide. Uh, here we have a drawing of the floor plan. Then drawing of uh, technical drawing of elevations. and the drawing of uh, integration of technology, uh, which I presented uh, with a rendered floor plan and rendered elevations. Let's go with the next slide. Uh, here we have a list of integrated smart home technology, uh, which all museum visitors uh, can use and try to see how it works. Uh, all devices are connected to artificial intelligence and they can be controlled from anywhere using a, a smart home application, laptop or mobile phone. So any visitor can, can try this. Uh, I will quickly mention some of the smart uh, home devices here. For example, a smart speaker. Uh, this is type of uh, loudspeaker and voice command device with an integrated virtual, uh, virtual assistance uh, that offers interactive actions and uh, hand-free action with uh, just a voice. So um, Alexia from Amazon, for example, uh, is probably the best known uh, smart speaker in the world. Also, I would like to mention a Wi-Fi coffee machine, <laughs> simply because everyone loves a good coffee, cup, good cup of coffee, uh, especially if it's a busy day in office. Can you imagine a coffee maker that uh, will make your favorite coffee by just saying my favorite coffee? So this is what this machine can do. Let's go on the next slide. Uh, next slide is a 3D realistic photo of a smart home office, which I designed. Uh, inspiration for this design uh, is uh, industrial and Scandinavian style. Uh, what I love about uh, Scandinavian offices is that they are so bright. Uh, I remember first time I went to Norway, uh, I was so amazed by their offices, which were not just a place to work, but a place to socialize, pl uh, to play and have fun as well. Uh, I guess that's uh, because they spend most of their time at the work, uh, which is not the case with the Croatians. So that's why I suppose they like to have a cozy, warm, playful place uh, 
where they actually want to stay. <laughs> Okay, so this here is a modular storage. It's a half storage and half kitchen. I imagine that this shelf system uh, is modular. In other words, uh, it's a movable. Uh, kitchen is a part of the offices uh, also in Scandinavia and it's, it's very common in there. Next slide. Uh, this sofa is a smart sofa. It is award-winning design by Gangzhou Sidland Real Estate Development. It has a temperature control system, multi-point pressure sensor, wireless charger, charger and uh, light. Uh, this here green is a green wall uh, and there is many different uh, type of uh, and system of green wall, but they all have a uh, same benefits, uh, which are, for example, um, they purify the air, they increase feeling of uh, well-being, they reduce noise, they reduce stress, and they boost uh, productivity. So let's go with the next slide and the last. Actually, this is not yet the last. This is last. Uh, this is sample board, and here I have uh, all the smart home devices uh, that I have in, uh, in my uh, presentation, and uh, all the material, uh, natural material, materials which I used uh, for this design. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, do you have any questions, please? Thank you. Okay. So, any well, questions? Actually, I have one question. Uh, why did you choose to use a Scandinavian style in your smart office? For example, why, did you, why didn't you use a futuristic one or something more modern? Why did you decide to use Scandinavian? Uh, okay, thank you for a question. Uh, the reason I decided to go with the uh, Scandinavian design style and not the uh, futuristic modern one is because I wanted uh, to reach a wider audience. Uh, for example, when you watch, even when you watch uh, science fiction movies, uh, like futur futuristic design uh, style is uh, always uh, like, uh, looks very cold and far away from us. Um, so I wanted to show that uh, you can have a cozy, warm home with uh, natural materials and still have a smart home devices uh, in the same time. Smart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, I don't have any questions. I just have one small comment. It was uh, very nice to see how you included green things in the office and the green wall. What I would maybe suggest is to think how even more uh, you can make your office sustainable. So maybe including if there is such thing as a smart trash so that we can separate the trash in the office, or maybe even including a small mini garden where employees can get their own tea or maybe some spices or something like this. This would be my suggestion, but otherwise uh, it, looks, it looks really nice and yeah, I would be happy to work in that office. Thank you. So thank yes, you. I wanted to actually to include uh, some more uh, designs in, uh, in, uh, in my design, but the problem was that I was not able to find some things I was looking for. For, exa for example, like a robot vacuum cleaner, I could not, uh, I was not able to find that beam object, uh, object for this Revit program. So this is why I didn't put that one or a 3D printer or but thank you for your uh, suggestion. I, I will take it in observation. And thank you for coming both. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and- enjoy. Yeah, we do. I can't wait to see Office in real. Thank you. Thank very you very good. much, Stefan. It was uh, very entertaining and yes, very informative. You. Goodbye. Bye-bye.